Hi, I'm Nigel Harris and I'm Tier Fund's Chief Executive and I'm here in Cox's Bazaar in Bangladesh in front of the Rohingya refugee camps that you'll be able to see behind me. You remember that in 2017 hundreds and hundreds of thousands uh, were forcibly displaced from Myanmar um, across the border um, and here in Bangladesh. Uh, this is still one of the world's largest refugee camps with nearly a million people uh, well over four years on. Tierfund has been working here in these camps since the start of the crisis. Uh, we estimate that we've uh, supported more than 50,000 households. That's probably well over a quarter of a million pe uh, people during that time. So thank you so much for your support and thank you for helping in that. We've done a variety of work in that time. Uh, we've worked um, distributing food. Uh, we've worked on shelter. Um, now, four and a half years on, we're doing different work. Today it's been my privilege uh, to visit uh, training with women, uh, teaching them to sew with sewing machines so they'll be able to generate some just very small scale uh, income here in the camps. Um, we've seen a lot of work around COVID as you might imagine given all that's happened in these last couple of years. So some of that has been around training uh, how to protect yourself best from COVID, all the things we know, hand washing, um, social distancing, mask wearing, uh, etc. We visited child-friendly spaces, providing opportunity for children to come together, learn their numbers, uh, learn their alphabet. And then we've seen some amazing work around waste segregation, tier funds priority around environmental and economic sustainability. So collecting the rubbish, separating it, again, providing um, some work for, for, for some of the uh, Rohingyas here in the camp, uh, just allowing them to separate off uh, the compostable uh, rubbish um, from the plastics and then visiting a recycling plant where some of the uh, recycling is, is, is being turned back into plastic slabs that actually are being used back here in the camp to protect against landslides that happen during the rain, rainy season. Um, and then we were able to see uh, just now a remarkable home uh, that we built after some of the, uh, there's been occasional fires that have caused all kinds of issues here in the camps. And it's great to see uh, a small home uh, built that will again support a family of six. So as I reflect on this, this is remarkable work, and these are remarkable he people here. Um, but of course, the world's attention is elsewhere now. Um, so please uh, remember in your prayers all that is happening here. Remember the generosity of the Bangladesh people who have taken in these refugees. Do pray for the work in the camps, for tear funds, for our wonderful local partners. We're working here with three agencies, with Coast Foundation, with CCDB, and with World Concern Bangladesh who are our wonderful local partners helping us do the kind of work that I've just described. So please hold them in your prayers. And most of all, pray for the remarkable Rohingya people that there will be a long-term solution. So one day they will be able to move away from the kind of camps that you see and, and return um, to their lives. Thank you so much.